Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Uh, very recently my friends at Gearbest sent me this WL800 um, micro grinder set. Comes in a nice little sort of alloy case as you see here. And we have the little uh, micro grinder itself, power supply, quite a range of um, tools and bits to go with it. Uh, some little drills as well. There's a collection of collets down here for different size drill bits and tools. It comes um, supplied with a collet already fitted in the end here. Um, and we have like some adapter pieces for these uh, drill bits and grinder discs here. Well, let's start by taking a look at the little micro grinder itself. As you can see, there's quite a lot of brass fittings on here, on the end here. This is in where the power supply goes. Um, the collet for attaching the tools is up here and we have a little lock pin here, you just push this in like so to uh, lock and unlock the tools. Got a little brass ring around here as well. Um, the finish on this thing is a slightly rubberized finish it feels to me. Uh, it's not just shiny plastic, it's actually a rubberized finish on the outside here and it feels quite nice in the hand. Uh, just here we have the uh, on and off switch and variable speed just there like so. The speed is 5000 to 18000 RPM and as I say it's adjustable here like so. Switch it on and then you just push it round to ramp up the speed back this way to turn it off. It comes with this little power supply that is uh, not compatible with the uh, UK plugs as is. Um, I've tried it in a little shaver adapter but it doesn't really want to fit in there at all really guys it's really too loose and falls out. So basically I popped into my local cheapy shop and I purchased this travel adapter for one pound and it's a really nice tight fit in here and it's definitely not coming out of there in a great deal of a hurry. In its little case you get quite a comprehensive range of tools. We have some little brushes there, um, that's a wire brush that one I think, it's a very stiff brush that one. We have a brass wire wheel here, uh, this is a little, this is interesting, a little polishing wheel, um, little cylindrical sanding disc here, there's an even smaller one just there. We have a range of little grinding uh, discs here, little, you put them in the end for grinding different things with. Um, just here we have like two very small uh, disc cutters, like little saws, uh, some little, these might even be diamond. Um, looks like they look very much to like they might be diamond uh, wheels. Some smaller grinding wheels here. A collection of collets just here. Um, you get a little tub of small drill bits as well which is useful so you can use it for drilling too. And as I say we get this little box here of small little grinding discs. They're very thin ones these are. And you get some little adapters here. Let's get these out of the moment. There's a little hook so you can actually hang up the uh, micro grinder if you wish to. And so we've got quite a few of these discs in here. Uh, then we have um, these little adapters here where you take the screw out of the end to mount either the grinding discs or the little cutting wheels. There's uh, several different sizes of those in here. Operating the device is very simple. You simply plug it into your mains supply and then we just need to plug in the plug at the end of the device here like so, just plug that in and then to get it going all we have to do then is just push the little wheel here and there we go we're off, slow speed and then you can gradually ramp it up and there we are flat out which will be 18,000 RPM it appears to be very solidly well made there's no creaking, bending or anything to it uh, there's a few screws in the bottom holding it all together as you can see. There's an air cooling duct there and at the front here. Just here as well to keep the motor cool. And say so it feels quite nice in the hand too because you've got this nice rubberized finish on it. Brass fittings either end. Um, I think what we better do guys is we ought to uh, give it a good workout down in the workshop. So let's get down there. Okay, so as we will be dealing with something that could be throwing grit and sparks and god knows what else about, it's time for some iPro. 
Right, let's get the little uh, little micro grind out. Just put this over to one side for a moment. Over there. Plug him in. Try him. Let's try and make sure the power's on and the circuit over there. Okay. First of all, I'm going to try one of these little uh, saw discs here. Very thin saw blade with little teeth in it. We we'll have to make sure we get this on the right way around too, so that it's spinning in the right direction. I've got one of these little adapters here, so I'll just have to take the uh, screw out of the end like so. And then I'm going to have to ascertain which way the uh, micro grinder goes round, and it goes round this way, like that, guys. Which means I'm going to have to put this little screw here from this side of the blade itself. Hopefully we can get it in there. It's a bit fiddly. There we go, like so. And then a the little adapter goes on this side. Screw him in. And then snug him up with a screwdriver, like so. Then we just have to mount it into the end of the uh, micro grinder. Tightening the collet up. And to do that we will have to hold a little locking pin down here and tighten the collet up. Get in there, there we go, I think we've got it. Yep, it's definitely in there now guys. Right, so I've got a, a small piece of 9mm wooden dowel here. Let's give that a go with the uh, saw. Okay, so I'm going to say that you know this uh, nine millimeter dowel is a little bit too much for it. It did it, but I kept stalling the blade every now and again. So I think what we ought to try next is um, this nail with one of the little grinding discs. Okay, so I've got one of the little grinding discs. In. This nail has a three millimeter shaft, roughly, just here. So we we'll see if we can cut through it with a little mini gr micro grinder. One problem I'm having with it is it uh, keeps loosening itself out of the chuck here. So I don't know if I've got the right chuck in here or not, but uh, the right collet in the chuck here. <clears throat> but it's certainly not um, holding it too well. I might try another uh, collet actually, guys. Right, now I've got a different size, slightly smaller collet here. Try that one in there. Let's give it another go then. Okay then, so you can see where it's uh, made a good attempt to get through it, but I think this is a little bit too heavy duty for the little small uh, micro grinder here. Let's try one of these uh, grinding bits here. I've got it in the collet again. Give it a go, see what happens. Oh yeah. That's definitely uh, taking a chunk off the nail there. hope you can see that. Okay, so I've managed to grind a little flat on the end there. I'll take the burrs off a little bit, but yes. So it's a pretty good as a little grinder then. If you like renovating old tools like I do, something like this could come in very handy for uh, taking the rust. Off the old tools like so. Done a pretty good job there actually. And you can use one of the tiny wire brushes to actually get into uh, like these worn out teeth here. 
clean them out a bit. You can see the probably see the dust, rust dust coming out on the end of the uh, little wire brush here. Cleaned it up a treat. Right, is it any good as a drill? Let's give it a go. Don't need it all that fast. It's easy to uh, stall it in wood, but we have drilled a bit of a hole there, guys. Alrighty then, so I think I've been a bit hard on this thing. I've given it too much work to do. But if you uh, want something for lightweight grinding, modelling and shaping and what have you, I think this would do quite nicely, actually. Uh, as long as you don't go too far. I say I think I've been a bit too hard on it, really. And we did manage to stall it a time or two, as you saw. But as I say, if you keep it where it's meant to be, on lightweight work, I think it'll be fine, actually, guys. It's not rechargeable, by the way. You have to uh, have it connected to the power supply all the time for it to work. Um, for me, that's not bad. I mean, for what I'm going to be using it for, I think it'll be fine. You know, for re renovating my old tools, which I like doing now and again. Uh, as I say, if you need something like this, this is, you know, cost effective, I think. If you um, want to, you know, use it for your modelling or whatever, uh, reshaping etc a little bit of lightweight grinding it should be fine for what you want drilling little holes in your models model kits or whatever should be fine for that I say I like the uh, the coating on the outside it's got a nice rubberized coating um, it didn't get hot at all while we were using it and I did uh, I say I think I overdid it a bit with the work I gave it but it didn't get hot at all um, there was no flames or smoke coming out of the motor which is good um, we have got a selection of collets, so you can put a selection of different uh, tools in the end there, quite handy. Uh, so you use this to tighten it up. Alright, so um, I'd like to thank Gearbest for sending it in to me to uh, review for you guys. Um, if you've got any questions or comments, please leave them down below. Um, if I'm not too busy, I sometimes uh, am a little bit busy to get back to people, but uh, I don't mean to offend in any way, just a bit busy. So to sum up then, I think this is a quite a well-made little thing. It feels nice in the hands, it's nice rubberized finish, and it will be absolutely fine for lightweight work. You can't ask too much of this little thing, though. No. Uh, I think you'd need some, if you know, if you did really want to do um, harder, heavier work, then you'd need something with a little more gumption behind it, but this is fine for lightweight work. Um, you can see what I did with, this, with the little nail and a bit of wood. It did take its time getting through them and doing the work we needed to do, but, you know, I think it's fine for what it does. It's quite a nice little thing. So if you're in the market for a cost-effective micro grinder, this could be what you're looking for. Um, I hope I've answered some of your questions on this, um, and I hope you'll pop by Rathbone Manor again in the near future for another review. Maybe a knife review, I don't know yet. I've got some new knives in, they came in this week. So uh, keep your eye out for knife reviews or whatever's up next. Alright then guys, well thanks for popping around, thanks for watching, and I will catch you... LATERS!